Okay, so the uh, atomic mass of the atom, so far we've used the units of atomic mass units. And 1 AMU is on the order of 10 to the negative 27th kilogram. So that, of course, is a very small mass. And it, it is um, relative to a hydrogen atom. So it puts everything relative to the smallest um, element. Uh, and so that was a good starting point. But, uh, of course, we want to use, uh, uh, a lot of times in the lab, we want to use something that's a little bit more convenient to um, measure the mass of and use in terms of calculations. And so that's where uh, chemists started to use a collection term called the mole. Now the mole uh, is sort of short for molecule, it's where it gets its name, but it really puts the atomic mass um, of individual atoms in terms of grams. Used to put the atomic mass in terms of grams which of course are much more convenient to think about and use in the laboratory and it started off with uh, the definition of that one mole of carbon 12 the carbon 12 isotope has a mass of 12 grams So that's the uh, starting point, that's the uh, relation uh, between the mole and uh, the mass, atomic mass. But most, most of the time we're just going to use the atomic mass of an individual, individual elements as what we're going to call the molar mass. So on average, the atomic mass of all the isotopes of carbon is 12.01 AMUs. That's what we're going to use as the molar mass for an individual atom. The mass of one mole of a element, an element, is the atomic mass in grams. Okay, so when we look at uh, the atomic mass for carbon, we can use two units. So we can say carbon is 12.01 AMUs, and that's the average mass of one atom of carbon, one individual atom, very small mass, very small unit of measurement. Or we can say that the same numerically val same numerical value, 12.01, is the mass in grams of one mole, so we say per mole. And you can abbreviate mole as M-O-L. Okay, so what that means is that one mole of carbon is equal to 12.01 grams. And so that is a much more convenient uh, term to use, the mole, rather than it talking about individual atoms because it's a much more convenient mass to use. Um, just like the dozen is a collection term, everyone knows the dozen means 12. The collection term, the mole, is the molar mass, the atomic mass, in grams per mole. Okay, so how do we use this? Well, we can determine the amount of moles um, a sample has if we know the mass. So, let's say we have a mass uh, or uh, carbon that's 12.45 grams. We're going to use our dimensional analysis approach to solve this problem just like we did in sort of you know, metric conversions, all right? Uh, so we, we know, we want to know how many moles of carbon are in this sample. Moles of carbon are in this 12.45 gram sample, okay? So we've got the molar mass. So if we look on the part PR cable, we'll see that 12.01 grams per mole is the molar mass for carbon. 
And so that's an equality. 12.01 grams is equal to one mole of carbon. And so, of course, from one conversion factor, excuse me, one equality, we can write two conversion factors. 12.01 grams of carbon over one mole of carbon, or one mole of carbon is equal to 12.01 grams of carbon. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to choose the conversion factor that uh, gets rid of grams and leaves us with moles. And so, of course, we want the conversion factor with grams on the bottom and moles on top. So we're going to use the black conversion factor in this case. So one mole of carbon, 12.01 grams of carbon. Grams cancel out. And we can figure out how many moles our sample is by taking 12.45, divided by 12.01, and we get a sample that is 1.0366. We gotta think about significant figures. So this multiplication multiplication and division. So we've got four here, four here. That's an exact number, so we need four. So we're gonna have to go with 1.03. This rounds up to seven. 1.037 moles of carbon. Does that make sense? Well, yes, uh, one mole of carbon is 12.01 grams. And we've got pretty close to 12.01 grams, so we should have pretty close to one mole, and we do. 12.45 is a little bit more than 12.01, so we've got a little bit more than one mole. So anytime you can sort of think about whether or not these numbers make sense, it's always a good idea to try to um, do that. Okay. Let's go uh, in the other direction for these types of problems. Let's calculate how many grams there are in a sample. And this time we're going to do it for a molecule, carbon dioxide. So um, we're going to start out with, well, first we have to determine the formula for this molecule. CO2, all right, and we've got moles, and we want to know how many grams, and so we want to um, first write down our units that we want. We want grams of CO2, and we want to figure that out from 0 0.459 moles. All right, so we're going to convert from moles to grams, and so we need the molar mass. Well, we have a molecule now, so we actually have to calculate the molar mass. And we calculate the molar mass in the same exact way that we calculated the molecular weight with units of AMUs. This time, we're going to use the molar masses, and so we'll have uh, the uh, units in molar mass, uh, grams per mole. So molar mass is equal to the atomic mass of carbon with units of grams per mole plus... 2 times the atomic mass of oxygen with units of grams per mole. So it is the molar mass. So we're going to have 12.01 grams per mole plus 2 times 16.00 grams per mole. And again, I just got these values from the periodic table. And that is equal to, let's throw it in our calculator. 12.01 plus 2 times 16.00 equals 44.01, two decimals, two decimals, so that's going to work, 44.01 grams per mole. All right, so that is my molar mass of carbon dioxide, 44.01, and of course that is an equality. By 44.01 grams of CO2, that is equal to one mole of CO2. And so, of course, I've got an equality. I can make two conversion factors, 44.01 grams over one mole of CO2. Or... one mole of CO2 over 44.01 grams. This time, when I need what conversion factor I need, I need moles to cancel out and leave me with grams. 
So I want the one, the conversion factor with moles on the bottom, grams on top, so this one. So I need a green conversion factor in this scenario. So one mole of CO2 has a mass of 44.01 grams. Moles cancel out. And we can throw this in our calculator to figure out how many grams of CO2 that is. So we got 0 0.459 times 44.01. 20.20059. How many significant figures do we need to cut this down to? We've got three significant figures here, four here, and so I need to cut this down to 20.2 grams of CO2 is our final answer. Okay, so in this problem, we uh, converted moles to grams, and so we had to use the molar mass. In this scenario, um, it was a molecule, so we had to calculate the molar mass. And we calculated the molar mass in the same exact fashion that we calculated the atomic mass previously, adding the molar mass of each element, multiplying by the number of each of those atoms um, in that molecule or ionic compound. And then we figured out what conversion factor we needed to convert from moles to grams.